Olympic sprinter CJ Ujar has been provisionally suspended following an anti-doping violation. Essentially, he tested positive for two banned substances. Now, it has to be said that he has already said he doesn't know how they got into their system and he wants his second sample, his B sample, to be tested. But if that proves to be positive as well, then it has huge repercussions, doesn't it? It does, because the it means team. the entire British relay team who took home the silver medal in the 4x100 metres relay at the Tokyo Olympics will be disqualified and they will be stripped of their title. The former Olympic sprinter Roger Black joins us now from Guildford. Good morning to you. I mean, this is potentially morning. devastating news, mm. isn't it, for the rest of the team who face being stripped of their title? Uh, ab absolutely, and this has happened before. Um, Actually, it worked in our favour in 1997. We came second in the World Championships in the 4x400-metre relay. Two of the Americans that beat us were found to have taken drugs and we were given retrospective gold medals. Um, it's, it's a terrible situation. I mean, we've been celebrating. I've been mm. on, on most the mornings talking to you about mm. the, the success of Team GB at the Olympics and then this happens and it is devastating news for Team GB, but particularly for, for British athletics. It's, it's, it's awful, isn't it? We, it there was, we, we, you, we, you and I were saying, weren't we, Roger, uh, only last mm. week, we were saying, you know, there's been something so joyous mm. about mm. seeing the extraordinary mm. endeavours mm. of, mm. of the men and women of Team mm. GB. And I think the whole nation has taken something fantastic mm. from that mm. and celebrated mm. the brilliance of Tokyo mm. and putting on the mm. Olympics. And there's just something nasty about cheating. Yeah. Is there any chance that it could be wrong? Oh, absolutely, there's a chance. Absolutely, this has happened before. Um, and as you said, Kate, in, in your introduction, it, it is a provisional uh, ban at the moment or, or suspension. Um, what happens is his B sample has to be tested. You give two samples on the day. He's, he was tested straight after winning that silver medal in the relay. Um, he has chosen, and, and actually you're saying that now is the first I've heard, that he has chosen to have the B sample tested. If the B sample comes back negative, then he will prove his, try and prove his case that this would, would have been done through a supplement or whatever. And this has happened in the past. But if it comes back positive, then he's in big trouble because then it goes to the Court of Arbitration for Sports. It's a long process of him trying to prove that he has no idea how these uh, two, two substances got into his body. And that's going to be very, very tough for him. So a lot hinges on the B sample. So it, 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 it is as simple as that. We've got to and wait how and see, quickly would but... that? How quickly would we know about that, though? Because um, in the meantime, you've got Nathaniel Mitchell Blake, Richard yeah. Kitty, and also Zanel Hughes, yeah. who had yeah, yeah. that four start in the individual, mm. but mm. felt came away mm. with something. They're all going sure. to be in absolute yeah. purder, aren't and, they? And none of them have spoken, and maybe won't speak, um, because you have to think of them. They they have a real they're in a real situation here where they could they could lose their Olympic medals. Yeah. Um, but for, for, for something that they haven't done. But this is this is a process now, and I don't know how long this takes. It does take a while, but it is a process that the, the world of sport and the world of athletics follow very seriously, and there is a process. The process has to be followed, and then we will see. The first step is to get the results of that B sample, because if that B sample comes back positive, then CJ Uja has a real problem to prove his, prove his innocence. Yeah, obviously, we're, we're waiting for that to happen. But, mm. you know, in this day and age, with such strict mm. testing in place, how does no. anybody think that they would be able to get away with it? You know, why, why well, would people still do it? I guess because it gives yeah, them that well, edge. It's, but it's, it's, the they're going to be found we, out, aren't they? It's the question we, we, we get asked all the time because... You know, it's not for me to judge, but but yeah, and, and it causes so much anger and frustration from from all what athletes, but particularly ex athletes. I mean, I've been inundated from fellow fellow athletes who okay. were in, I'm in contact with, and it's and it's anger, it's anger and frustration yeah. that athletics is always trying to prove that we're not, uh, we're, we're always seen as this this sport of, of that there's a lot of drugs taking. I've always thought that it's it's the vast majority of and athletics are, are clean, but then this happens, and the general public rightly go, oh, they're all cheats, they're all cheats. It is, it, it, you know, I, I'm not going to judge CJ Uja. I have no right to do that. Um, but it is, it is, it's a really hard question to answer because I feel sometimes I'm incredibly naive that, that I, I don't, because I, I don't really know what's going on out there. And I think most people don't. It's down to the individual. It's down to the people they listen to, the situation they're in. Um, but it obviously happens. 
but but it, I don't think it happens as much as we're led to believe. But when something like this happens, you know, that the headlines say say a British athlete tests positive for drugs, cheat, and that's all people see the headlines. So so let's see what happens in this process. If if it comes out that that he has cheated, you know, we don't know that. Uh, then this is a very dark day for British athletics and and, and for Team GB. Two to four weeks is the time that right. he has to ask yeah. for that B sample. But, and you may have said this already, but I was surprised to know that, that they could store the samples for up to 10 years. Imagine for the rest of the team having that holding over their head yeah. for that amount of time. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, you know, imagine the rest of the team now, and this will hang over them until this is, is resolved. So you have three athletes who, who have been celebrating winning Olympic silver medal, and now they have no idea if, if they're going to keep, keep hold of those medals. So it affects everybody. Um, but we must be careful. I really, you know, this is the beginning of the process. Yeah. And you have to go through the process and you have to give him the benefit of the doubt because this has happened before and athletes have proven that, 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 that it was a mistake, that it maybe came from a supplement and, and they've been, it's been okay. And there is a list of athletes that that has happened to. So we do have mm. to be very careful here. Mm. But, but in the same way, you know, not sugarcoat this. This is this is a serious issue. Roger, good to talk to you as always. Shame hey. it's on that this time, but hopefully yeah. we'll do yeah. more uh, on other things. Yeah, and let's hope it yeah. is a mistake as well, as you mm. say, Roger. Thank you very much. Well, we're done.